All right. So it's time for turn 33 of Early Lovers. All right, bound another devil. Got a decent amount of blood slaves, actually. Um, lost a unit, lost a unit. Okay, there's only two commanders in this province. I don't remember where this one is, but um, I'll check that in a second. This is my fort. So he just has two pull marks. I'm going to take a look at both of these just to see what the, um, like, what what they have. So this guy has two of every path. He has water gems. Okay. He is being bodyguarded. This guy is not being bodyguarded. Okay. Um, just strength of giants and that's it. Okay. Is that really <laughs> wow, that thirty one damage discus is wow. That is <laughs> That's a little silly. I like that. That's fun. Okay. So wait, is the locust equipped with anything? No. No he is not. Okay. And then how about here? There's two pull marks. Here's the first one. Still only has the stone bird. Mute. So his hazard kind of terrible. And he has heroic quickness. So he actually hits really fucking hard. Okay. Still has him casting iron skin. How about this guy? What the? Oh. <laughs> All right. Well, this guy's going to be dead next turn, so that's funny. Um, yeah, if, if this is on my fort and I have my assassins here, I'm pretty sure my assassins could kill this guy pretty easily with the uh, copper plate, especially if he's casting um, Susceptible to Shock, like Iron Skin. Um, I don't think it, the charged body will one-shot him, but it will do a fuck ton of damage and most likely stun him, in which case my Demon Bridge should be able to finish the job. Um, so there's that. Okay, that went well. These guys actually got out without losing too many. And I got a province back. That's cool. So, oh wait, no. Okay. So, by the way, Calum staled this turn. I don't think he's happy. I don't think he's happy with how hard it is to kill me. Um, which is a little funny to me. He... Pretty much botched everything he possibly could. The only thing he didn't botch was, well, I botched pretty hard, was losing my scorpion, man, uh, dude. Which hurts, but, you know, whatever. Uh, that's my bad for being an idiot with him. So, I am going to go ahead and just research with all these guys. I'm going to equip this guy with some better stuff. Um... This guy should be able to assassinate a lot of different things. Yeah. Um. Hmm. Is there anything else? Oh yeah, this. Okay. He should be able to fucking eat pull marks pretty easily. Um, especially with the uh, lightning spear if they're casting iron skin. Um, this guy will absolutely shit on them because. The pull marks will miss their first attack because he has cheat, uh, cheat fate on him, or twist fate, whatever. And then that allows him to attack first and probably stun him and one shot him if they cast an iron skin because this is an armor negating shock attack. So as long as he like lands a hit, which he should, because it's gonna. He's going to swing on an 18, and it, even if it hits the shield, the, the lightning damage still goes through. So the defense of the pull marks is a little bit misleading because um, a lot of this um, defense is in the parry. So they with with the shield, without the sh or if you're not counting the shield, their defense skill for your attack just to miss is actually 12, which is pretty terrible. So, that's why I wanted to forge this lightning spear last turn. Um, and then I can equip my god with some better stuff. 
slightly better stuff. Um, so that way he can um, maybe maybe fight um, some like a pole mark. He could maybe go in the front lines. I wouldn't feel comfortable with it, but he might be do he might do okay. How much does life drain do? Life drain will yield ha a half HP and two fatigue points per HP drained. So let's say he swings in like I'll say just 20, 20 prot unit. He swings take 20 off, that's leaves 35, and then half of that, he'll get eight, 17 HP a swing. Granted, this val like his stats are gonna go down because there's no um his protection value isn't incredibly high and he'll probably get afflictions in the in the heat of the battle. Um okay. Interesting. I actually have two assassins here, and this is where he has his ba Basilis and his Locus. Now what sucks is I can't tell which commander or which assassins assassinate which commander. Because this guy, I would rather assassinate the Basilisk because um, he can just flood him with the lifelong protections. Now, granted, if there's, he might be able to handle one bodyguard. I don't know if he can really handle two or more. Um, yeah. I mean, I'm gonna, I'm gonna gamble it either way. But I feel like this guy might be better versus the Basilisk, and this guy would be better versus the the Locust. The Locust should be an easy kill for either one of them, um, which would might be funny if he has. I don't know which commander is commanding the troops, but if it's the Locust and the Basilisk, like like say if he's gonna march onto my cap, if the Basilisk is the one leading the army, um. <laughs> Or if the Locust is the one leading the army and, like, the ba Basilisk isn't, it, he might actually just fucking kill them on accident. Um, although, now that I see this, there's actually two Marcata scouts here and a mounted commander, which is a little annoying. I think he did that on purpose, just in case um, that's something like that. Like, I have these guys here. So instead of assassinating assassinating the important targets, I'll assassinate the uh, the the not so important targets. Um, hmm. I am so far from alteration six. I think what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to um, patrol my capital. Um, I don't really see the point in trying to in trying to uh research with them if the if blindness is so far away. Um now what I could do hold on. Um is solar eclipse a fire gem or is it a astral gem? I can't remember. It's a fire gem. Cool. Okay, so I can basically have patrol and then cuz I feel like he's going to take this group and just immediately march on to my capital. I think he I think he'll he'll think that he's strong enough to to take it with this force, which to be honest would be a mistake on his part. I think that would be incredibly stupid if he actually just marched on to my capital with this force. Um Maybe, no, he should be able to see that my army's right here. Um, so he might not do that. I don't know. Is he stupid enough to do it? I think he might be. He's not a really good player. I don't know. Would he march onto my capital with just 68 of these guys? Because I can definitely defend it with my god, this guy casting Solar Eclipse, and then whatever I have left here. I think it should be enough. And then also I have the PD. And Abyssian PD is fucking thick, by the way. In case you didn't know. Um, hmm. Decisions, decisions. I can also cast a... 
incinerate too. First, let's start scripting. My God, to fight. Um, I can't really do anything like big astral spell wise because I'm not at alteration six yet, which I can maybe start casting like. What is it? Uh, Battle Fortune? I think I would rather spam this spell if I could, but I can't because I don't have the research for it. Um, so in that case, I think I'm actually going to have my god fight in the front line, which might be stupid, but, you know, fuck it, right? Uh, actually, does he have enough... Mm, his fire resistance isn't that good. Hmm. I could give him this. Which would make his stats a lot worse, but he would be immune to fire. Hmm. I don't know. I just don't know, man. Cause it would be really disappointing if my god died to the friendly fire. I would be very sad if that happened. Um, let's see. We'll do astral shield, twist fate, luck, body ethereal, and we're gonna have this guy basically just sit over here. And he should. I'm hoping he casts Body Ethereal on himself. If he doesn't, I'll be kind of sad. Uh, attack closest. Hold, um, hold, or maybe I should do like attack rearmost. That'd be funny. A flanking god. He actually does have two attacks, and he's decently strong. Um, I don't know. He might be okay with just five fire resistance. I definitely need to like forge something to help him. Um, I wish I could throw on one of these on him, but you can only wear a crown. Could have given him a hoplon. That probably would have been better, but then he wouldn't have the uh, leeching sword. Yeah, I don't know. See, how much worse is this Skills if I put on the scale mail. Ooh, he drops his defense by four and his protection by a couple too. Yikes. Um I think we're gonna chance it with the armor er, with the other armor. I don't mind if he gets an affliction or two because he has recuperation in this mod. But um Does he actually... Okay, he does have dark vision. Thank God. I was going to say, if he doesn't have dark vision, I'm going to be super duper sad. Um, so, let's see. We're going to go ahead and script my demon guy for spells here. Um, Phoenix power. Solar eclipse. Astral shield. Um, what's your attack and defense at? Actually, a really respectable 24. And his uh, protection value isn't too bad either, but, I mean, I'm fighting against giants, so they're going to hit quite a bit harder. Um, I don't know if I want to risk him going out in the front line. Although, their stats should be... I don't know. Maybe it would work just because there's the uh, the stats of his giants should be so bad to the point that um, they can't actually hit him. Maybe, that, maybe it wouldn't be too bad. Although, Body Ethereal wouldn't really help because they all have fucking magic attacks. An attack. Remost? I don't know. Fuck it, man.
hold an attack closest, I guess, with these devils. Hold an attack rearmost. Um, I don't think I need any of my warlocks to really participate, and it's not like the blood magic. My blood magic isn't to the point where it can really help me. And in fact, I might even just get a, a few levels just to get, um, oh no, Agony's here. Where's Harm? Harm is in level 6. Ugh. Harm would be nice, though, if I could ever get it, but I think I'd rather just start going for Alteration 6. Um. Hmm. Well, this <laughs> this poor warlock, man, gonna die, but it happens. Move and patrol, although this guy's probably going to die to fire damage because um Although he didn't die <laughs> wait, hold on. Did I did I leave one bodyguard on him? He probably just fell asleep. <laughs> Or maybe it didn't have much of a whoopsie. Yeah, he's a. Uh, <laughs> he's. Yep, he's already tiring out and he's asleep. Yeah, that's funny. Luckily, he didn't get lit on fire. That probably would should have happened, but he didn't. So that's nice. Um, so I'm gonna sneak these two goofballs onto this province and see if I can assassinate um the pole marks. I'm pretty sure either of them can. Although I think I'd prefer this guy just because his attack skill is a bit higher. Um, in defense. And then um, but I think both of them should be fine. Fingers crossed that I can get the the commanders that imp are important because he actually um, did the smart thing and started putting like worthless commanders on the same tile. So kudos to him for actually doing that. Um, more devils I think are in order. Or maybe I should save up for another lifelong protection. Maybe that'd be smarter. Um. Is there anything else I can really forge with this guy? I don't know. Let's see, defense 12, attack 13. I might be able to thug this guy to do some cool shit and maybe give him a black heart. He would be a really annoying assassin if I gave him a black heart. Um, forge. Can I do black hearts? No, it's just heart of life. Um, although, to be honest, a heart of life on him would be super annoying. Yeah, you know what, I'm gonna, I'm gonna forge him a, uh, black heart. He can even spam, uh, raise skeletons, which I don't know if that would be really all that helpful, but, you know, he could basically do this indefinitely. Um, well, near in, indefinitely with a, 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 a heart of, uh, life. Let's see, how much... Fatigue, it's the same amount of fatigue, you just get more skeletons. Okay. Research, research, research. I'll have these guys guard the commander, actually. I think that might be better. So that way, um, he can cast these spells, and then he'll have some units around him for the other people to blow their attacks on. Because this guy will do work by himself, for sure. Um, so, 
I think that might be okay, although I had to... Here, you know what? Instead of twist fate, I'll have you do Reevenvig. There we go. That way, he can attack with a uh, fresh... Although, fuck, man. <laughs> Hold on. Is there a commander that can be close by? Yeah, okay. So, this guy will have the uh, Blood Slaves. Where is he? Patrol. There he is. Okay. So he's right there. Alright, perfect. Um, so that way he can cast Reinvigoration. He'll be fine. Yeah, why am I, why was I casting Twist Fate when he already has this fucking thing? I don't know. I'm an idiot. Why am I having him cast Luck? I'm a mess, dude. What am I doing? Uh, so he doesn't need luck. Let's see. What other spell could I possibly cast? I could cast Body Ethereal. It won't help him that much, but... Oh my god, my dog's barking because he's having a dream. That's kind of precious. Um, I could do Summer Heat, maybe. Summer Heat... Yeah, that might be better. And then Reinvigoration. Okay. Let's see. I could have this guy patrol. This guy's a communion slave. Here, you can give this sword to that guy. We'll give this guy... Reaches the steel. I need to rescript this guy. I'm kind of... I've been kind of lazy with my... Uh, with my buffs. Because I just I haven't been caring about this game since, like... <laughs> Who would care about this game, honestly, in this position? Like, obviously you're not going to win... Like, it's a complete uphill battle, and it's even more discouraging because I know I could fight both of these guys 1v1 if, like, the provinces were equal. These guys are both not, I don't know, they're just not that great, good at the game, but it's just frustrating because, like, you know you can beat them, but because of the circumstances that you find yourself in, like, it's just not going to work. So, it's a little bit frustrating, but... I don't know. Hats off to McCone for pouncing on the right player, I suppose. Because if he had agreed to attack Kalem with me, I'm pretty sure I could win. I could, like, roll Kalem and then, like, roll him afterwards if, like, I had all my original territory again. Um, Obviously, that didn't happen, but it is what it is. Phoenix Power, Solar Eclipse, I will give him 50, 10, yeah. Okay, he should be fine. He should be fine with that script. Okay, um... I could do Incinerate with these guys. That might be better versus, uh, Gigantes. I start killing them faster. I'll just have this as my fifth script. And then these guys can also patrol, I guess. How's my research? At 240, not too bad, honestly. Um, I scripted this guy, right? Yeah, I did. Okay. Or no, did I? Where? No, you're patrolling, bro. Here. Honestly, that's fine. Okay. So, 
It would be funny if, like, he, um, I hope, I hope to God he just marches onto my cap like an idiot. That'd be, that'd be great. Um, I don't know if he's going to do that, but if he does, I'm pretty sure I will win the fight pretty easily. Um, he's going to probably lose his pull mark next turn, not this turn. And then, um... I don't know. I'm just going to try to make him bleed as many mages as possible. After I deal with this uh, attacking force, I might just go on to like, one of his forts and just do it a massive assassination uh, attempt. Because I don't think he's really even patrolling his, his forts all that much, other than like the, uh, the free spawn assassins that they get. Which I'm surprised he hasn't used. Uh, the, the free spawn assassins could honestly fuck me pretty hard. Um... I might be able to load up enough of my warlocks to cast like imps, and maybe the imps would be strong enough to kill them if you didn't equip them properly. But like you can see, like I don't have that many blood slaves, um, so it'd definitely be pretty hard for me to do. Oh wait, hold on. There we go. A little bit better equipment wise, and then. Hell, you guys could have that, I guess. Hope, fingers crossed my god doesn't burn to death. That's what I'm hoping for. I would be very sad if you did. In fact, I might forge a... Let's see, who has less research? 18, 19. I don't want to forge with you guys because you're patrolling. Um, I think I might just forge a, a ring of fire. Just because... I don't know what other slot to put it in. I would forge... Um, there is a earth fire crosspath item that I could forge if I had the mage for it. Um, that gives like strength and fire resistance, but I don't have an earth <laughs> earth fire crosspath mage, funnily enough. Um, could never get the chance to recruit one. So, that's unlucky. I think that's everything I can do this turn. Um, so hopefully these guys assassinate the two important commanders. Uh, they have, they each have what, a 1 in, a, a 2 in 5 shot of assassinating somebody important, which is namely this guy and this guy. So, I mean, it's not the worst odds. It could be, it could be better, but it's not worse, the worst. Um, there is a small chance if I assassinate the Basil, Basil, Basilius, whatever the hell they're called, um, that would be huge. I think... I think either of these assassins might be able to handle him, depending on um, how many bodyguards show up. Because, I mean, let's see. If there's one bodyguard, like, this guy could easy, easily fight him just because <laughs> the first attack will whiff and he'll do his swings, and I'm pretty sure he's strong enough to just kill him. Um, so, yeah. Alright. I think I've rambled on long enough. And, uh, that's turn, what is it, 33 for early lovers. I'll see you next time.